What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is just a follow-up video because I've had a lot of questions um, after I published the video on using the uh, Zebic uh, TriScreen 2 and um, they're coming out with a new version of this called the Snap and I hope to have some coverage of that as well but I wanted to go back and try to kind of do a little tutorial here on how to set up the TriScreen 2 using the the TriScreen adapter, all right? A lot of you, I did it on a MacBook Pro, I believe, um, and um, it's different. We got USB-C in the mix. Um, this here, a lot of people don't have USB-C. So how do you set up a TriScreen 2 on, say, a Windows laptop, for instance, this Dell Inspiron, that only has USB-A, but has an HDMI out, all right? So, They've updated their website, and it is very, very nice now that you can go through their little question tutorial and basically, I'll bring up the website, it will tell you how to get through not only a video, but you can actually come out here and go through like how many ports do you see? It's really, really nice little survey or questionnaire that says, hey, do you need a tri-screen adapter? So it basically says here, what, which product? So, okay, so I'm looking at the tri-screen 2, and I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to do it for Windows. Which type of laptop are you connecting to, Windows? Do you see a USB-C port? This one doesn't have it, so no. Do you have an HDMI port? Yes. Then there's a little video. The goal to remember here is <clears throat> these are HDMI to mini HDMI. That's how you get the video to them. HDMI does not provide power. It only provides the display video, okay? So you can think of, I have one HDMI port. What am I going to do here? So the first little magic that happens with this tri-screen adapter here is you only use a USB-A port, all right? That is going to pull, now this is USB 3, you're going to pull video and power through this little adapter, which is pretty cool, but you're going to plug it into the mini HDMI and the USB-C, which is power in this point. So we're bringing in the video to this display. That's pretty cool. Once you've got this tri-screen adapter set up and you have a screen over here, you are now complete with the left side. Then it's time to focus on the right side. Hopefully you have a USB port on the right side as well. A, C, whichever, right? I only have A. I only have one HDMI port. I've got this one working only through USB-A. I'm not using this. Now you've got to remember too, you have to go and download their Display Link drivers. Okay? They have Display Link Manager. It's going to install some drivers. It's going to allow this to all function and work all magically like this. As you can see, I've got my screen alignment 321. Probably not the best, but that's just the way I set it up. Um, two is, in this case, it is my main setting. And what's nice here is you can come up here, go home. And it says that it's an Inspiron Dell, USB 3 to HDMI. That's the trickery. We're using HD, USB 3 to H, HDMI through this little adapter. So that's what it says. RTK FHD HDR. It's 1920 by 1200 landscape. That's monitor three. Bingo. Two is the main screen, right? Um, well, no, two over here is the uh, other one. Three is the native display. So in this case, three, two, one. And you see how I drug it out and aligned it. So if I identify up here, three, one, two. So it looks a little different than what the Windows display kind of had there, right? On the right side now, what do I got to do? Okay, so now I'm using my HDMI port over here 
and I'm running it behind to the mini HDMI port over here. I have now just taken the video the way this is supposed to be used and through the HDMI and over to there and hooked it up. Then I've put an adapter, a USB-A to USB-C adapter because these cables are C to C. So I plug that in and this, and that's now providing power to the other display and video from the HDMI out over here. Had I had two HDMIs, uh, I wouldn't have needed this little adapter because I could have provided power and video from two HBAs and two, or HDMIs, and two USB-A or C ports, okay? So you follow how this kind of works. It's not rocket science, but it is a little difficult when it comes to thinking it through, getting the right cables, getting it on the mix. And as you can see here, um, I'm kind of dragging stuff around my mouse. Now what's interesting here, let's look at the native Windows display here, right? So to do this, you just go down here and you type display and then little display settings will pop up. And we can identify here, one, two, three. And now you can see that, that this is three, two, one. Well, I don't want that. I don't want three, two, one. I kind of want them as, so one should be in the middle. Then let's make sure we've got, we've got three and two. So yeah, and we're extending them across the desktops, right? So if I scroll left, yep, I'm over here. If I scroll right, I should hit, let's make certain. Let's see if I can drag this over to the third monitor here. Oh, can't do that yet. So let's identify again. So that is monitor two to the right. So let's go ahead and just redo this. Duplicate, duplicate, extend the desktop across the display. Apply. We scroll left, we hit that monitor. We scroll right, we hit that monitor. I can now drag this guy, whoops, let's minimize it, across to this monitor. I can now drag this guy across to this monitor. I can now maximize that. I can maximize it over here. And now I have my main screen to work on. That is what the Zebek TriScreen 2 is all about. Having the utility, the workspace for three screens at your disposal. Now, is this going to drain the laptop battery very quickly? Yes. I highly recommend you provide power to your laptop. This one here is a barrel only uh, charge. So I have to be able to plug in with a barrel. I can't USB charge this laptop at all. And you may have the same restrictions. Sometimes Dell does that. I can't charge it through a port. I have to go through this um, barrel port, which is just like, you know, a wall brick and a little round barrel that you plug in and you're good. Hopefully this helps. If you are still stuck trying to figure this out, just kind of remember, I'm doing display and power separately with this system, okay? You're not providing power and display through a USB-C uh, setup on this, okay? We're, we're, we're HDMI in the mix we got to provide power. That's just a key thing to remember. And focus on one monitor, then the other. Okay? Don't try to um, do them together. They're, they're separate entities. Okay? You're trying to think of it as like I'm installing a monitor here, I'm installing a monitor there, and I'm just trying to get this all to work. And again, you got to go into the Windows settings. you got to install their display drivers, and then set it up as you want, like I showed you, and drag and drop, identify your monitors, where they're at, and then line them up as you want. And now mine is one, three, two. So, and it doesn't really matter. And you're probably saying, why is this one three when it's on the left? Shouldn't this be like one, two, three? But my HDMI, remember the trickery, my HDMI, according to this laptop, that should be the secondary display. So therefore, that monitor plugged into the HDMI becomes monitor two, and this monitor who is using the USB-A through the tri-screen adapter is monitor three. 
And that is all through the process internal to the laptop, thinking primary, secondary. If anything else, third, and that be USB. So that's why this monitor, going through the tri-screen adapter, is monitor three. Hopefully this all makes sense to you. If not, I'll put some links that um, Zemic has updated in their website, and maybe you can walk through it and watch some of the videos, take some of the tutorials or the surveys, and it'll hopefully help you out a lot better than it used to. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.